G'day guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now today I am going to be ranking my favorite AFL team. I believe Cookson's done this, so I thought it was a great idea. I will link Cookson's video in the description below. Let's get into it. Pretty easy one. D's up the top, been a member for 18, 19 years consecutively. Nearly hit the 20. Um, they probably are my least favorite team on some weekends, the D's, because I bloody hate them, but um, that's only because they lose a lot. So um, yeah, the D's can be up the top. All right, who else do I like? Who else am I fond of? I would say the Pies are in the A. I enjoy the Magpies, I like, I like the Pies. Um, some of my favorite players play there. I hate Jeremy Hamm, I don't hate him, but it was sad when he left, but you know. Um, I like their forward line, I like their midfield, Adam Trelaw, and, and um, I love Jaden Stevenson, and I love Big Coxie, so I reckon the Pies are an A for me. I reckon the Baby Blues as well. I love the Young Blue team. I reckon it's one of the most exciting like up and coming lists. Them and the Lions are gonna be an absolute force in a couple of years. Um, Charlie Kerno, Setterfield, little Zachy Fish. Um, yeah, Caleb March, bang. Charlie, I think I said Kerno. But there's two Kerno, yeah, anyway. <laughs> so yeah, the Blues, I think, um, yeah, they're probably another team that I, I like quite fondly. Uh, there's a lot of middle of the row teams that I just don't really have an opinion about. I'd probably say the, the Dockers, I don't I don't really care too much about. Like I don't hate them, I don't like them. They're just a bit of a nothing team. Uh, when I first them, Michael Walters annoyed me a little bit with him exaggerating his body movements for free kicks consistently. But apart from that, you know, all the all the best to them, all the power to them. Um where else? The Suns, they don't really do anything to annoy me. Um, yeah, they're just, they're, I suppose that's because they're down the bottom. If they were beating us by 100 points every every time we played them, I'd probably have a different opinion. But yeah, the Suns are just a run-of-the-mill team. Big fan of the Doggies. I love the Doggies. I love um, Toby McLean. I like McRae. He dominated us on the weekend. Dunkley's cool. It's great to see Josh Shackey up and about. So I would say the Doggies are an A category team for mine. I almost feel like there's too many rows, but um, yeah, we'll keep going. We'll keep soldiering on. Um, the Power, I like the pair. The Pair are, yeah, once again, um, yeah, I, I don't hate them, I don't love them, but they're just a pretty innocent team. I think that they could be annoying. If they were up and about and all the, the pair supporters are just going nuts, they they could be a frustrating team. I don't think I would like Port if I lived in Adelaide. Um, but yeah, just being a, a bloke from Torquay, the power, yeah, a pretty, pretty cool team, I guess. All right, who else is in here? I would say the Bombers are a that's quite low. I'd say the Bombers are a C or D. I don't... Yes, they can sometimes annoy me a little bit. I, um... It's also like interactions with the players. Like, oh, when me and Cooko would go down to the rooms, we'd sneak into the rooms back in the day. I'd find the Bombers were the least accommodating in terms of the players. Um, they won a massive game on Dreamtime at the G. Uh, one one time when me and Cook went down and none of the players gave us a bar. Um, and I found that to happen like a few times, like any time I bump into an Essendon player, whether it's just a coincidence or not, I'm sure your, tipper, your tippers and, um, you know, players like that are quite nice, but yeah, just whenever I bumped into them, they, they seem to be, <laughs> I don't know, quite arrogant, uh, which was a shame. I'm sure that's changed, but that's just, you know, an opinion I have from, 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 from years gone past, but yeah, I chucked them in the C's. Adelaide, ha Adelaide, how do I feel about Adelaide? I love Eddie, I don't like Tex. Don't really like Don Pike. I do like Alex Keith. I'll probably go C, C for the Crows. Who else do we have here? Swans, Swans are pretty cool. I chucked the Swans in the B. Um, I probably like them more than I hate them, so they're probably just above average. 
Um, Heaney's one of my favourite players in the league. Tipped him to be a surprise All-Australian. Got told that that wasn't allowed, but Gary Ablett was allowed to be a surprise All-Australian. You know what? I'm not bloody surprised that Gary Ablett's probably going to be an All-Australian. But, um, yeah, the Hawks. Hawks are a, a C for mine. I don't hate them as much as Cookson hates them. Um, yeah, I think it's pretty cool, the success they had. I think they're going to have to rebuild. I think their list isn't as talented as it, as it seems, and I don't think topping it up with a Canelio or Patton will help straight away. I still feel like they sort of have to bottom out and come back up. But then again, I don't think I am in a position to question Clarkson's next move, considering the runs he has on the board and considering my lack of football knowledge. So all the power to you, Clarko. All the best, mate. Um, Giants, I'd put in the B. Uh, yeah, I love the young list. Hainsey and, uh, and and your Tarantos. And they were they were really good to deal with when we went down to the rooms. All the players were lovely. Stephen Cornelio, absolute legend. Um, so that's probably what bumps them up to the B. Uh, West Coast. <laughs> I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with West Coast. I don't mind the team, but the supporters seem to rinse me all the time. Um, yeah, I'd probably put them to C. I don't, yeah. Once again, when I play them, I find that, I don't know, it's just me that seems, make, like, they, I feel like they're a little bit cocky. They pro That's probably because they've come off a flag, but yeah, I don't know, whenever I seem to watch them, they sort of run around as if, their shit doesn't stink, but that's fair enough. They've uh, they won the flag, but yeah, I'd probably put them as a C. Um, North, I'd put... I'd probably put North as a B. I like them more than I don't like them. I get around them for Cucko. Um He can sometimes pump them up a bit too much, but <laughs> uh, I think they're a pretty talented team. They're doing quite well this year. It's weird how you can get rid of a coach and all of a sudden they're good, but it's quite funny because a lot of the players that Cook was pumping up were just terrible at the start of the year and it made it seem like he was talking a bit of garbage, but since Brad Scott's left, your Davies, your Uniacs and um, your players like that, your Bailey Scott's are actually good, so fair play to the bloke, but um, yeah, I'd put them in a B, I, I don't mind them. Um, Geelong's a pretty easy one. Geelong's probably the team I dislike the most. Um, but that's from years ago, to be honest. So I don't dislike Geelong as much as people make out that I do. Um, like I don't, I don't hate the Cats players. It's sort of like the club I hate. But back in the day, I used to hate everything about it. The stadium, the club, the players. In that era with like your Matthew Stokes and your, your Joel Corey's, your David Wojcinski's, your Scarlet's, like that era, they were just, some of the cockiest people <laughs> you'd ever run into. Um, yeah, the, they, there was an aura of arrogance. I remember watching games where they'd beat teams at Simmons Stadium. They'd sleep when they did the huddle, and um, I don't know, all the fans would cry out for a home game, and I don't know, there was just a lot of uh, entitlement in the Geelong area. And when you lived in Geelong, and all the Addy and all the uh, the K Rocks of the world would just pump up Geelong, and I'm a diehard D's fan who were winning one game a year. It was a terrible time to live in. But all those players have moved on, and I actually love like your Grian Myers, your Geordie Clarks, um, your Fogarty's or Fogarty or whatever his name is. Like I don't know, I love the young Geelong list. So uh, I'm starting to turn a little bit. Maybe in a couple more years, Geelong might get off the bottom of my least favourite teams. But for now, they're stuck there. Um, I'd put the Lions, everyone frosts the Lions, but I'd probably put them as a D. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. It, it's, it's tough because Dutchie, one of my best mates, is a Lions supporter, so I do like to see them do well. But um, I don't know, it's just a, you know, they've had their success. They don't deserve any more. They've won three flags in a row. Um, I don't know, some of their players can be quite, I don't know, Dane Zorko, just a bit of a, a, like a, an annoying hero, a bit of a hero Zorks. I, I do love Mitch Robinson, 
Um, but yeah, just as a team, I'd probably put the Lions in the D category. I'd probably put the Saints there as well. <laughs> um, I do have a couple of really good Saint supporter mates, which um, which makes it a little bit tough to put the Saints down there. But yeah, they've got a, a few annoying players who you know wander around as if they're heroes, but they're not that great. Um, it was quite funny earlier in the year they. They pumped the D's to be fair and were sitting top of the ladder and they were talking finals in round four. And now they're just bang average again and lost their coach. So um, yeah, the Saints, I don't know, there's something about that club I don't really love. Um, I don't dislike them as much as Geelong, but yeah, that probably has something to do with every time we play the Saints, we lose. Like I think they had like a 12 year winning streak against us. Um, but then again, so did a lot of teams. And the Tigers. I'd probably put the Tigers in the B. Great song, great club. Um, they're probably not in the A category, but um, yeah, probably in the B. So I, I do, I do like the Tigers. I like, um, yeah, yeah, you can't hate Dusty. Some people hate Rewalt, but um, some people hate Alex Rance. But I like both of them. So I'd put the Tigers in the B. So that is my list of my favourite AFL teams. Um, D's up the top, Cats down the bottom, I don't think there's any surprises there. And then, yeah, I, I, I really love the Pies, the Blues, and the Dogs. And I'm pretty content with the rest, to be honest. Thanks for watching another video, guys. I appreciate all the support, and I'll see you all very soon. Cheers.